Hey beautiful people, welcome or welcome back to the channel. I'm Josie with Awakened Soul. In case you're new here, we're here for a pop-up reading, you guys, and today's pop-up is going to be all about your person's current thoughts, feelings, and intentions towards you, my dear. Now, I will give you guys a heads up that this is going to be an awfully specific pop-up just based on the energies that I've pulled for us already. So let's just jump right into it. I trust that if this reading found you, it found you exactly when it was meant to in divine timing. And by the way, it is timeless. So whenever it found you, found you for a reason. Trust that there will be some messages here. Now, do keep in mind, this is a general reading, so maybe not all of the messages are going to resonate, and that's okay. Please take what resonates, leave what doesn't, um, and anyway, let's get right into it. So I'm going to go ahead and start with your person's current thoughts about you, and then we're going to kind of move along here. It's being represented by the Nine of Cups, the Chariot, and the Six of Wands. The Chariot is Cancer, by the way, so that could be confirmation. Actually, let's just get all the Zodiacs out while I have it right here before I forget, because sometimes I forget, you guys, so sorry. My bad. We have Cancer coming out, Sagittarius, Pisces, uh, Leo, and that's it so far. So anywho, to get us started, your person's current thoughts about you. My goodness, my dear, I don't know what you have been doing, but you seem like quite the success story. At least that is how your person is viewing you right now at this time. That is their primary like thought process about you is your success. I don't know what you've been doing, but feel free to drop a comment down below. They really see you uh, having reached this beautiful achievement, it's almost like you're reveling in your satisfaction and victory, public recognition. Um, it seems, at least to them, the way they're thinking about you, they feel as though you've reached some level of fulfillment in love, career, and personal growth. And basically, you guys, your person is just so freaking proud of you. So I don't know what you've been doing. If you're in the public eye, maybe you're like a musician, an artist, a content creator, um, slash influencer, whichever title you prefer. Uh, I don't know what you've been doing. Maybe you've even been promoted at your job recently, started a business that's become very successful, but your person is so proud of you. I can't even, like, it is such an understatement how proud of you your person is. In fact, right now, that is their primary thought process when they're thinking about you. It's like this person is literally literally sitting there reveling in how far you have come. So my guess is that it's pretty likely that you've known this person for a while and they've gotten a chance to see you grow and develop on a personal level for quite some time. Um, unless, of course, you kind of just like blew up with success overnight or something like that. But even if that's the case, I really get the sense that your person's known you for a while and they've watched this beautiful transformation in your personal life and in your career from what I'm seeing here. It's like they feel as though you have just really risen to the top and you are shining so brightly right now, almost as if you can command the world around you. Um, I honestly believe that your person sees wishes coming true in your life. Maybe you have expressed to them before certain goals you've wanted to achieve. And it's like you're checking every single one of those boxes right now, you guys. And your person sees that and they're just so proud of you. They see you as an individual who strives for goals and doesn't even hesitate for one second. If you have a goal in your mind, you are a go-getter, you are charging towards that end goal and not letting anyone or anything get in the way of that. And they are just like in awe of how far you've come. Um, I Again, I just have to reiterate it. I feel like you are probably in the public eye in one way, shape, or form. It's a general reading, so everybody's story is going to be a little bit different. But there's something about you being in a leadership role that your person is thinking about heavily at this time. And it's interesting, you guys, because your person's thoughts and feelings about you are hand in hand. I set the intention to have these be separate, but they're very much interconnected. So when your person is thinking about you, they're they're in their feels at the same time. So it's almost like these two energies are blending. The mental and emotional energies are blending into one. And it's kind of funny because we have notes of a blending energy over here with their feelings section, which I will get to you guys. But I just want to note that right now. I'm going to kind of just almost have to like read this as one entire storyline simply because your person's thoughts and 
and feelings are very much interconnected. They're not very separate right now, okay? I hope I'm making sense. I'm not gonna keep reiterating that. Um, however, for the sake of the reading, I also have another side note for you guys, okay? And I'm getting very excited, so just bear with me during this reading because I'm gonna let my excitable side come out here because your person is very giddy right now over you. I'm just gonna say that much, okay? I did song pulls for us, and that was inspired by the fact that when I was laying out this spread, the song Roll To Me by Della Mitri started playing in my head. And I was like, okay, well, that's probably like the, the baseline energy of your person towards you right now. So check out that song. That's like the back of the deck energy, as I'll call it. Um, for how your person is feeling about you right now, what's going on with them towards you. But I did pull three separate songs, actually technically four, okay? One for their thoughts, one for their feelings, and one for their intentions. So if you guys want some homework, something to listen to after the reading is all done, I, I got you covered, okay? Uh, for their thoughts, we got the song Intentions by Justin Bieber and Cue Quavo. So give that song a listen, and you guys, it's freaking adorable because that is 100% how your person is like viewing you right now, their thoughts about you, okay? Because that song is all about somebody who is a total shining star, okay? Um, they're... <laughs> Uh, just go listen to it. I'm not even going to go into it. When you listen to that song after this video, you're going to be like, wow, that's exactly what I was just describing. They see you as a total go-getter. Like, you don't need attention from any... You, you, you got it. Like, you're the star of the show. Nobody can compete with you. You are doing amazing. Your person is freaking proud of you. Over here for their feelings, which again, go very on par with their thoughts. This is kind of one big thing. Um, they see you as an incredibly balanced individual. You're almost perplexing to this person because they see this immense creative side to you. Again, I'm feeling like you're like some type of a creative type, an entrepreneur, a musician, a content creator. You do something creative for a living, even if it's in like for business matters, you are creating. And it's really impressive to your person because they see this blend with you between practicality and intuition and creativity. It's like you are flowing seamlessly between two worlds with whatever you're doing right now, okay? Um, it's like innovation and a rise to success has been driven by this creativity, this passionate energy you've poured into your work. Um, but also you have this practical business-minded nature to you at the same time. So even if you're like an artist or a musician, um, you're also quite practical and grounded with your business matters. Um, you're, you're very logical at the same time. It's like you have a really good balance of opposing energies within you that your person is picking up on. The perfect balance to rise to the top and be a success. And again, you guys, your person is so impressed with you right now that I am freaking impressed with you. Good job with whatever you're doing because it seems like it's going swimmingly for you, okay? Now, the interesting part here was that we have justice, or excuse me, not justice, judgment, clarifying this energy. So what I'm getting from that is that your person is acknowledging that this rise to success that you've had has been inspired by almost being reborn again. It's as if you have a new life, like the old self as they knew you before has been shoved away to the side and you are a whole new person. So I wouldn't be surprised if you've gone through some type of catastrophe, um, some type of really big tower moment, basically, like an upheaval of some kind, a divorce, you know, moving long distance, uh, your world came crumbling apart, which broke you down to the point where you have rebuilt yourself up into a brand new person like Phoenix energy, rebirth, okay? And your person is acknowledging that that rebirth, that becoming a new person has what has led you to this amazing success that they're so proud of. So I don't know you guys, but your person is extremely impressed by you. They also believe that whatever you're doing right now is a part of your inner calling, maybe a part of your soul purpose or something that you were truly destined to do in this lifetime. They're acknowledging that and um, it's just amazing. And I, I don't know, your person is enthralled with you right now. I'm just going to say that much and it's kind of cute. So but yeah, you guys, um, 
it, it's like you had to go through some difficult times in order to learn important lessons to get to where you are right now. It's almost like that you've taken those negative experiences and channeled them into fuel to a brand new fire to just get your life like almost like catapulting in the direction of where you wanted it. It's like your trajectory totally took a 180 and you're in a completely different place to where you were before, you know, X amount of months, years ago, whenever that was since your person first met you. So basically their dominant thoughts and feelings about you at this time are, are being amazingly impressed. I'm just going to leave it there. Okay. Um, they're very much inspired by you and they see you absolutely thriving and shining with this beautiful balanced energy. They see you as a leader, a go-getter, somebody who doesn't take crap from anyone. You are charting your own course. And not only that, but you're doing amazing while you're doing it. So I don't know, again, you guys, if you want to drop a comment, go ahead. I'm by all means, I'm curious to see what's going on because this person's impressed with you. But anyway, the song we got over here for their feelings is the song, it, it's called Marry Me by Thomas Rhett. And if you aren't familiar with that song, you're probably like, oh my gosh, that sounds beautiful. But it's actually a very sad song. And it would make sense because of this judgment energy we have over here. Um, it's a sad song. You can listen to it when we're done with the with the video if you like. Uh, but what I'm getting from that correlation is that, yeah, you had to go through something rather sad and upsetting to be prompted to go through this rebirth that has led you to where you are right now. It wasn't all sunshine and rainbows and butterflies and unicorns and sparkly glittery events. You know what I mean? It was, um, you had to go through some hard times, some really, really deep sadness and loss in order to get to where you are right now. And your, your person is acknowledging that basically. So anyway, give that song a listen if you like. Um, I'll repeat all of them again for you at the end before I switch to a different spread, okay? So I'm gonna hop over to their intentions. We have the sun, the ace of wands, the five of pentacles and the wheel of fortune. And I did pull an extra card just to confirm what I was already picking up on with the initial three, um, basically just to confirm with myself what this meant, right? So because we have kind of like, it's, it's telling a before and in the future energy. So I'll get into that. What your person is intending on the future between the two of you is kind of coming back in. So I haven't focused on this during the middle of the reading for a reason because your person, regardless of what your stance is with communication right now, is probably still really heavily picking up on your energy, maybe watching you on social media or something like that, or is still interacting with you via mutual friends or something of that nature. But anywho, um, what I'm trying to get at is it seems like there has been a period of drought, doubt, um, and being left out in the cold between the two of you, as in it seems like you guys might not be talking right now, or I don't know what else to really say, you guys. It just really doesn't seem like you guys are talking right now. Like you might not be communicating with this person, or at least, yeah, I'm trying to come up with different potentials because this is a general reading, but I'm being honest with you guys right now. I don't think you're talking to this person and I'm going to leave it there. I'm not even going to try to speculate and go into all the different potentials. You're probably not talking to them, uh, but they are intending on changing that and doing a reversal, which is why I wanted to pull an extra card. And we ended up with the Wheel of Fortune, which confirmed what I was already suspecting with these two cards. They want to bring back in that warmth and that vitality, that optimism and that new growth potential between the two of you and your connection, okay? Um, basically, this person does want a new beginning with you, one that is likely to include some type of passion, okay? A physical connection with one another because we have the Ace of Wands coming out here and I do read that in that sense often, right? Um, but not only that, they also feel like maybe the two of you could be successful at a different endeavor together. It's like they're so impressed with your rise to the top and your leadership skills that they feel as though the two of you could almost start some type of an enterprise together. Not even just in a romantic sense, but just in general, like the two of you would be really, really great teammates with one another. Okay, uh, I can see here that there has been a period between the two of you where there's, again, a lot of doubt, drought, sadness, almost the feeling of abandonment, being left out in the cold, struggle. 
and they are really wanting to put an end to that between the two of you. They want to change that around, come back in with warmth, fire, vitality, and passion. So that's basically their intentions. I actually got two songs for um, their intentions because I wanted to get a second clarifier for um, the first song that came out. I wanted to get more energy than just that, so I pulled two for you guys. The first song I got for this was Bloody Valentine by MGK, and the second song is Bronyar Stomp by Led Zeppelin. Um, that's a lesser known song. I know it simply because I have cool parents, and my childhood dog was actually named Bronyar after that song, so give it a listen. Um, and yeah, I want to carry on, you guys. Um, again, the four songs were Intentions, Marry Me, Bloody Valentine, and Bronyar Stomp. So after we're done with this video, I welcome you to go listen to those for further confirmation and refer back to this if you like. But anyway, I'm going to clear the board. I'm going to get us some more information out. I'm going to pull some um, additional oracle cards and stuff like that. And we're going to go from there, you guys, because I want to get out as much info as I can for every single one of you today. And if you're enjoying it so far, and if you are resonating with it so far and you haven't, here's your friendly reminder to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell so you never miss another video in the future. I also go live on a fairly regular basis, so if you ever wanna join in on one of those, the live chats are usually really supportive and awesome. The community we are building over here is amazing, you guys. Every single one of you are beautiful, bright lights in this world, and I wanna thank you again for all of you who join in. So I'm gonna get some more cards though. I'm not gonna start getting all sappy. Not gonna start getting all sappy for you guys. Let's get some more info. What can you tell me about the future of this connection? Let's ask that. What can you tell me about the future of this connection? Moth to a Flame um, featuring The weekend. I just thought of that. You can listen to that song as well. I guess this is gonna be a musical reading. I don't know. Can go ahead if you like all right yeah but this person just feels really drawn to you i think that you both feel very magnetically drawn to each other if i'm being honest it probably goes both ways okay we also have divine feminine coming out and that is kind of funny because you guys are very magnetic like you are very magnetic it's almost like you're calling forth all everything that you want it's like and your person is seeing this about you whether you're seeing it or not but honestly, I would be surprised if you don't see this within yourself because it's almost like you're, you're a manifestation magnet. Like you can just snap your fingers and attract whatever you want in this world. At least your person is perceiving you as somebody who has that ability, okay? Now, there is going to be some type of a big change coming between the two of you in the near future. I can say that much because we have the Thunderbolt card coming out right after the Butterfly card. So those two in combination are giving me like Tower Moment energy. So there's a big shift coming, particularly if you... Ooh, that was weird. <laughs> if you haven't talked to this person in a long time, you probably will be soon, but it's not going to be just a casual conversation. I see things changing rather quickly in this dynamic, okay? Now, for some reason, they're drawing me to get the hidden messages out for that card specifically, so bear with me for a sec while I pull out this book, you guys, because I don't want to miss a thing. Aside from the initial messages I got out from that, there we go. First of all, it's on page number 77, so if you've been seeing multiple sevens lately uh that could be confirmation for you it's also air energy so maybe you or your person could be an air sign um i'm assuming butterfly is probably also an air energy card so anyway guys um, when it's balanced we have reliable intuition based access to truth so what this is telling because it's definitely in balance i'll say that much um again Seems like your person is acknowledging that you listen to your intuition and they're starting to listen to their intuition more as well, okay? They really believe that you have a good balance between intuition and practicality, that you can kind of blend those two realities together. You aren't 100% leading with your heart 
and you're not 100% leading with your mind. You found a very practical balance between the two opposing energies um, that has led you to success and it's going to help in this connection in the future as well. I see you guys communicating, talking, and I also see a very, very big change coming between the two of you. So actually, I'm gonna pull a couple of Lover's Oracle cards out now to see if we can get extra info about this change, like what's actually coming in the near future between the two of you, what this change is, this shift. So, okay. Mm. All right, let me pull these to the side, you guys, because I want to clear the board. We have friendship. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. So that could be taken in a couple different ways. Maybe right now you are just friends with this person and that's part of why they know so much about your success at this time, okay? Um, another note is that if you haven't talked to this person in a while, they wanna come back in and actually try to be your friend again before ex escalating things into a relationship. So that's a potential for you. Or if you're already friends with this person, they may want to come in and try to deepen that bond with you and move in a romantic direction. Okay, another note is that it's just literally important for the two of you to be friends, whether you're romantic or not, but to just really treasure each other, value each other, and respect one another for who you are as people. Because, you know, friendship is a good foundation for romantic relationships as well. You have to be friends with the person, right? Okay, we also have this card coming out. Look inside yourself, examine what is causing you to feel this way. Okay, so I do think that the both of you are going to be really analyzing this relationship with each other in the future, this connection, whatever it's going to be, and you're going to be going inward, and you're really going to be diving deep and being pretty honest with each other about what's going on inside, okay? And I think that each of you as individuals are going to be doing that more and more as well, that you're not going to be seeking so much external validation, but you're going to be going inward to receive information as well. Let's get one more card out with what is coming in the future of this connection, please. Okay. All right. Wow. Okay. So I can't show the back of that card, but we have sacred union, honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. So that says enough, you guys. It seems like you are going to be coming into a union and a physical relationship with one another in the near future. I'm going to set these to the side again, and we're going to pretty much hop into messages, I think, honestly. Actually, no. First, we're going to get a couple of, um, we're going to get a couple of situation cards. What's coming next in this connection? What can you tell me about what comes next in this connection, please? Whoa, I knew it, too. I saw it. Before it came out of the deck, I saw it before it came out of the deck in my head, you guys. No lie. Engagement ring. Higher commitment, eternity, partnership, and union, and completion. Oh, my goodness. I, I swear to you guys on everything. I saw the bright red energy of that card before it came out. I knew it would, too. We also have abundance. Positive mindset, manifest, gratitude, bliss, and blessings. You guys are about to enter into... Um, a serious committed relationship with each other but not only that it's like your abundance is just going to keep growing so maybe this person is proud of you because they have a similar mindset as you maybe they're very very similar to you and they're very creatively balanced and are a natural born leader and that's part of why it came out earlier that they feel like the two of you could almost start an enterprise together because it's a natural talent that both of you have and should the two of you come together even just as like a business partnership it would be very successful from what I can see here because both of you are really great at that on your own let alone if you take both of your minds and blend them together to create this my goodness I don't even know what to say you guys you could take on the world at least that's what your person is seeing as a potential for the two of you okay now let's get out one or two more cards a couple fell to the ground but you guys I don't take them unless um they're upright okay unless I feel really really called that I need to take it and that's just the way I read cards some of you guys like it some of you guys don't like it you know, all I can say is I read the way that I read and that's just how it is. So anyway, I trust that the messages that want to come out do. All right, we have picture, 
looking at pictures, missing you, nostalgia, and making new memories. Yeah, so this person's probably been reminiscing because now they're showing me the sunglasses card, okay? Yeah, this person's been watching you, okay? And I'm not saying in like a weird way. I really feel like this person is kind of just observing you right now, especially if you are in the public eye. Um, it's like your person might have the opportunity to actually watch you perform at work like you might literally be a content creator making videos and stuff like that and they're watching your content or an influencer and you're posting pictures and doing videos and all that type of stuff or a musician and they're going to your concerts whatever it is for you um if that's not the case they could just be kind of watching your social media to gauge what's been going on with you and they see your success via that or again maybe this person is a friend doesn't really matter, basically, you guys. In one way, shape, or form, this person is observing you, um, watching you thrive, watching your success. They could also be looking at old pictures of the two of you together. They're really missing you. They have this desire to make new memories with you, um, and they're very much just looking forward towards the future. And I think that they're going to talk to you about this, too, because I see you guys coming together and actually making some new memories with one another. So, beautiful. Let's get out some messages from them now. I feel like now is the time to get the message cards. So let's go from there, you guys. All right. And by the way, also, I have been plugging this a little bit. Sorry if it's bugging you guys, but I have to announce it. I did recently open up a Patreon in the last week or two here, I have a free membership and a paid membership that's only like $5. And you get exclusive videos over there on Patreon that aren't on YouTube. So if you feel called to check that out, the link is going to be in the description box down below. And I totally invite you to. There are exclusive videos over there that aren't on YouTube. And they're also not on the YouTube membership, which also has exclusive videos. So if you guys feel like double dipping, you're welcome to do that as well. Okay, I know I was a distraction from your pain. So maybe the separation between you and this person is what that judgment energy was. And that, like this breakup from this person or not talking to them anymore, was that fuel to your fire to go and be successful. For some of you guys out there, you did. You broke up with this person. And instead of sitting there wallowing in your sadness, you were like, okay, fine. I'm going to go start a whole freaking enterprise over there or something. I don't know. Um, uh, take that card how it resonates, you guys. I'm going to leave that rather open-ended other than what I just said. I want to tell you how I feel. Your person, and that's fairly self-explanatory as well. Your person wants to come in and communicate their feelings to you. Probably tell you that they're very much impressed by you as well. So many things remind me of you. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think they can really let that go, especially if they're still looking at old pictures of you and stuff like that. They're impressed. Very impressed, yeah. I don't know what it was, you guys. I remember every detail of that day. So maybe there was one very, very special day that the two of you spent together or something like that. And that could be what they're looking back on. Maybe it was even a vacation for some of you guys. You went to like a lake or a tropical place together and they're like replaying that day over and over in their head, looking at old pictures of the two of you that day or something like that. But yeah, there's one specific event that your person is replaying in their head over and over again involving you. So just keep that in mind. Whatever comes to mind, listen to your intuition. Let's get out a couple more messages from them. If you only knew the thoughts that run through my head. Mm -hmm. Okay, these did not flip up right, so we are not going to take those. All right, let's get out some more info. What else would this person say right now, please? You are so magnificent. Yeah, this person is like super, super impressed by you. That's all I can say. They're very much impressed by you. We also have, we have a soul connection coming out. Ooh, it's going to bug me. I don't know where I'm going to put all this now. Um, I guess we're going to start overlapping over here, you guys. We have a soul connection. So maybe your person does believe that you have a soul connection with one another. I wouldn't be surprised. They feel... Um, very strongly connected to you. I only want you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, this person's very impressed by you. They feel like you are the one for them. You're, you're so impressive that nobody else would compare to the way that they feel about you, basically. 
Let's get out one more card. What else can you tell me, please? Ooh, drama. Who cares what they think? So maybe other people were interfering with this connection or are actively trying to interfere with it still. Hmm. Hmm. But they want you to know that everything is going to be fine. Even if that is the case, you guys will make it through it. Especially since they see you as such a go-getter and they feel like such a go-getter themselves. They're like, I don't care what obstacles there are. We'll figure it out. Because you guys are both natural born leaders. They know that you guys will overcome those obstacles. Like it's nothing. Like it's nobody's business. You guys, I'm going to get out some tiles and charms for us now. And we're going to kind of go from there. If you guys see any words or names or anything like that that I miss, I invite you to comment down below for the collective. Everybody really appreciates that when you guys do it. Because sometimes I do miss some things. Okay. All right. Lots of P's and R's coming out here. So somebody's initials could definitely be like PR or RP or something like that. RSVP, that's a blank, by the way, okay, um, I think that was the only vowel, the U was the only vowel we had coming out, you guys, I don't know, I'm going to leave it there, and I'm going to hop over to charms, because I don't want to get overly fixated on that right now, and, and hop out of my flow, okay, if you see anything I missed, you're welcome to comment down below, we also have a G and an L coming out here, um, oh, that was more charms than I was planning on, but I guess that probably happened for a reason. You guys, um, this person is about ready to get to take action. We have that rocking horse here. That reminds me of chariot energy, but kind of like put on hold, gaining momentum right now. They're gearing up to take some kind of action towards you. Um, maybe even in the springtime, because we have that pink flower coming out here, could be the case. Um, we have a little pink bow or actually it's blue, but I said pink. So I don't know if that means something to anyone. I'm going to leave that there at face value. We have a cactus. So maybe one or both of you guys live in a desertous area or plan on traveling to a desertous area, something like that. Maybe even a coastline because we have a lighthouse. This person also sees you as a light in the world for sure. Um, then we have the little pink lips. So maybe you guys like to wear pink lipstick. This person likes to wear pink lipstick. Or again, that's just speaking about the fact that they feel very attracted to you and they feel that you are a very attractive person inside and out. Okay, we have a heart here. Let me see what details. Yep, it's a it's a little white outlined heart. So whenever that charm comes out, it makes me think of a pure love. The way that this person feels about you is very pure and unconditional. Again, they feel like the two of you have this very special and unique bond that is different than anything they've ever experienced before. And last, but certainly not least, we have the Jesus fish. So could also be that maybe you guys have some kind of religious differences. That could be why there's some judgment from other people coming into this connection. Um, maybe that's been a barrier between the two of you in the past. Otherwise, maybe um, it's just really important to you. Maybe some of you guys are fellow Jesus believers and that's important to you. So I don't know, take whatever resonates, leave what does not, as always, you guys. Now, what I'm gonna do is get out some messages from the universe just for you. I'm feeling called to get a couple of different decks. I've recently rotated my decks again, you guys, as I do every handful of readings or so to keep things very much fresh. That's just what I like to do. Okay, there we go. I got that one. I'm just going to get one from that deck, actually, and then I'm going to pull an Awakening Intuition card also. I believe that's what this deck is called, at least. Ooh, I hope I got that name right. Okay. All right, I'm seeing the number 22. So we had a lot of double numbers come out, 77, 22. Multiples of twos or sevens could be important for you or this connection. I see this day as a positive new beginning. It's never too late to have a new beginning. Today and tomorrow can be very different from yesterday if you can let yesterday go and focus on today. Today and tomorrow are about your now vibration and you have complete control over that. Look for things to feel good about and watch how everything in your life will unfold to reflect that good feeling vibration. Very true, you guys. Rise above for eagle perspective. 
The eagle spirit animal invites you above the treetops so you can see the whole expansive forest. Create healthy distance from a person, group, issue, opinion, stance, emotion, or situation by viewing the broader perspective while gliding on the broad wingspan of the eagle. Enhance your intuition by contemplating the entire landscape and multiple perspectives. That is also a lovely message, you guys. We're going to get one more out for you, and I'm going to pull from my angel healing cards for that. This is going to be a real brief message, and then we're going to leave it here, okay? Vision. Positive outcomes require a positive vision. See everyone in your present situation, including yourself, surrounded by light and love. Your love has the power to influence, transform, and lift today into a brighter tomorrow. I love that message too, you guys. I don't know if I've ever gotten that one out of that deck yet. So anyway, I'm going to leave this reading here. I hope you all have a fantabulous day or night whenever you're watching this. And I certainly hope to see you again for a future video. Bye for now.